Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Tick Certification Video Training and this is the 17th video in, in this series and in this video I am going to show you Citrix NetScaler VPX Express installation on VMware ESXi so basically in this I am not using ESXi VMware ESXi here uh, at the um, yeah, uh, uh, we are using VMware Workstation both both the VMware product like uh, ESXi and Workstation use the same extension files to run virtual machines and uh, for like a uh, configuration file uh, or you can say the hard disk a uh, uh, virtual machine hard disk so we are, so I'm going to use the machine uh, run the Natish color on VMware Workstation here to get the VMware Natish color VPX Express uh, Installation me media or the file you can go to uh, Google and type the NetScaler download. You will get the NetScaler ADC tricks uh, page and uh, and you have to logged into here uh, with your uh, like uh, uh, tricks account. Once you logged in, you are able to see here the all the NetScaler ADC versions which is listed. So so you can go and on a latest one like 12.0. And if you go here, NetScaler VPX release, and if you click here, NetScaler VPX Express, um, and it will show you the option to download. So scroll down, and you will get the file for all the hypervisor like Zen Server, ESXi, Hyper-V, and KVM, and these things. So, so in in my case, I'm going to run it on. Uh, my VMware workstation, so uh, I need to download this file NetScaler VPX for ESXi 12.0 build number this so I have already downloaded this file here if you go in my download folder it's already downloaded so let's extract this file to folder so it's extracting here and now if you double click you you are able to see here uh, the hard drive and the OVF file for virtual machine so let's import this machine so open with VMware workstation and it will give you the option here so let's import this so now it's importing here you can see machine is important and you can see the settings here like memory 2 GB processor 2 cores and hard disk and everything seems good just power on this machine so it's basically a pre pre installed uh, uh, net scaler on this virtual machine so it will ask us the uh, basic configuration like uh, IP address and subnet mask these details so we need to complete those uh, those uh, information there and we, we have a running NetScaler virtual machine so just wait for a few seconds to load this machine so this is basically Linux based um, image which is running on virtual machine so see now you can see the internet scalar IPv4 address so I'm going to put here 192.168.168.1.21 now it's asking for subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the gateway 192.168.1.1 and now you can see the save and quit so let's press 4 and hit enter now you can see it's restarting now you can see it's taking the all the IP config IF config you can see because it's running on uh, basically Linux so it's getting IF config so now NetScaler has started successfully take some time that is color initializing is still in progress please wait
when such done we have a login uh, it will ask for credential to log in so just wait for a few more seconds now you can see we are at login screen so we have some warning page here access to this system is not is authorized for uh, is for authorized user only so good to know now you can see it's asking for a login ID so the both thing is NS root and password is also NS root so you can see we have successfully logged in so let's let's uh, verify by using the GUI here by accessing the is uh, this address on web browser so before this you have to make sure you are connect uh, you, you are uh, connected with the the NetScaler IP so let's try by ping 192.168.1.21 and you can see here the IP address NetScaler device is replying us so let's go to browser and type there so 192.168.1.21 and hit enter so you are here at NetScaler login page so type NS root and password is also NS root and let's log in. So let's save the password and here you can see user experience improvement program. So you can skip for now and now you can see we are at the configuration page so NetScaler IP is configured so you can basically see here NetScaler uh, IP address which you can access the NetScaler for configuration monitoring and management tasks so this is not the IP which we are going to use uh, uh, by connecting your uh, network infrastructure so we need to for, to connect the NetScaler device with your network infrastructure you need to configure the subnet IP address you can here uh, see here uh, specify an, an IP address for your NetScaler to communicate with backend server so I'm going to do this so put the IP here 192.168.1.22 and do it the subnet mask default one so click OK now we have configured two things and now we go to configure the host name so let's call it net net scalar 01 and DNS IP address you can put anything like whatever DNS is running and time zone you can set to like I'm setting to my country you can see here if you call Kata oops you have to set 254 here and done and now you can see the configuration must save the system reboot yes let's reboot the machine so you can see saving configuration so now it's rebooting the NetScaler VPX so you can see on here also it's getting rebooted so it will take some time to get this machine up once again So here it's rebooted now. It's load loading free BSD. Put a strap loader. Now it's loading the net scalar in memory. Here you can see NetScaler started successfully. So almost done. Let's wait for a few more seconds here. And then we can try to log in. You can click here. So we are good to log in. 
and now you can see we have done all the basic tasks we need to the last task is adding lessons here so if you go to dashboard you have a nice UI here which is giving us all the detail about the NetScaler machine running packet CPU users, management CPU users and in use memory which we are using we have a throughput, HTTPS request everything is there like we have uptime so if you go to reporting you can see the reporting as well as like you can there are multiple tasks which you can configure and uh, NetScaler so we have a separate video for NetScaler training so if you go here like you can say H is not configured if you go here you can see the IP address and release build so these detail is there and also you can go and configurations if you click here if you click on continue you are able to see here now the configuration page is loaded and you, you have all the details here related to NetScaler system information you have a, a like hardware information NetScaler remote license virtual appliance and we have a serial number here encoded and you can see the here uh, go to statics and the all details are there and also you can go and reboot the machine so we have traffic management so everything is there so this is all about the like running and uh, uh, creating the machine on ESXi for NetScaler VPX Express installation. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query or any question related to this, please post me on my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye bye.